All right, how's it going, everybody? We've uh, we've moved from the inside to the outside. Us Midwestern people, uh, once we get some nice weather, we uh, we got to get outside and enjoy this stuff as long as we possibly can. So being indoors for us, unfortunately, is uh, too common of a thing. So uh, anyway, so tonight's guest um, is uh, Dan. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, How do you whiskey? Um, so what we kind of decided to do, we we sent each other a few samples a while back and of the uh, American whiskey from Old Carter. And we've added tonight to the three of the American whiskeys. Um, we've added a smoke wagon just as kind of an underlier a little bit to kind of compare with it being MGP with a lot of the other ones also being uh, MGP. And then we also have, uh, I added in one of the, the bourbons, batch four. And just so everybody knows, so the flights we have, we know we know roughly what they are. We have no idea what they are right now or in what order. So just so you guys can see, so I've got mine in a little envelope. My wife came out. She um, she poured all the stuff and she moved everything around and has it all labeled. So once we kind of start going through some of these things, we'll, uh, we'll be able to review it um, or um, reveal that stuff. So, all right. So before we get going, let me just say hi to everybody in the chat right now. Trev, the wrench, as always, I appreciate you being in here, buddy. How do you whiskey? How's it going? Christopher David, Zeb Taylor right now. Uh, Sam Clark, how's it going? Richie Z, how's it going? So I know it's early right now. So, all right. So the idea, I think we're going to go through all of these, take some notes. We're going to try to get to basically our least favorite to our favorite. Now, that's kind of subjective because... Dan, Dan and I are both big fans of, of old Carter. So there's none of these, I think that we don't, that we don't already like, it's just going to be a matter of which one that we, that we really enjoy, um, you know, tonight, you know, and that could change tomorrow. It, this is how it, it kind of goes. So, um, so yeah, why don't we, I guess, before we get going, is there Dan, anything you want to say before we kind of get going at all? No, just hey to everybody. Uh, I know there's going to be some uh, patrons in here from the uh, like Jeff right here. He's also from the uh, excuse me, uh, Adventures Club Bourbon Society uh, here in Chicago. So there's going to be a lot of those guys. Cool. So, thanks. Welcome. Thanks for popping in, Jeff. Appreciate it. Douglas Papa, how's it going, buddy? Appreciate it. Jeffrey Wack. All right, so we'll do that. So why don't we? We'll dive into it. We'll take some notes. We'll see. Um, how everything kind of uh, plays out. It's always fun to do these things. I mean, we're going to be dealing with some pretty um, some pretty high proof stuff tonight. We have no idea. We're going to be tasting different things as far as we know from each other. So our our palates and what we're nosing and tasting aren't going to probably match up in in terms of that. But at the end, we basically have the same thing. So we'll see exactly um, where things kind of uh, uh, you know kind of end up. So all yeah. right, let's kind of. Uh, you want to get into it a little bit? Yeah, we haven't even, I mean, we haven't had anything to pre-drink or anything. So this is the beginning of the beginning. Yeah. And uh, I see Jeffrey Wack over there. He asked if it was all uh, uh, MGP and it is. There's no Dickel. Um, and I mean, blends, I mean, they're blends, but they're blends of all MGP. Yeah. Yeah. This is all. So that's why we decided to add the um, the smoke wagon just as a little underlier. Keep it as MGP, something that still has a little bit of <clears throat> age and some proof. I mean, everything we've got is basically, I mean, I probably at minimum 115 all the way up to, well, really about what, almost 139 proof. I think one of them is a pretty high proof batch. 139.1. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's batch. Is that batch two? Yeah. Batch one, two. Yeah, yeah. Batch three, 138.1 and batch two, 139.2. So that's it. Yeah. Some, some big stuff. So. Um, all right, so why don't we go ahead and we'll get into uh, we'll get into this and have some fun. That's what this is. Uh, that's what this is all about. So yeah. All right, so let's see. And again, I've got all my little my little note thing here, so I'm just going to write a lot yeah, of stuff too. down on that as we go. So, and we again, we have no idea. <clears throat> yeah, his number one is not going to be my number one. No, Hopefully no. not. That'd be weird. But yeah, <laughs> play the lottery <laughs> after that. It, it really, it really would. But. Yeah, so we're we're just gonna uh, we're gonna go through these, nose them, taste them, and kind of get into everything else. So, yeah, yeah. And if you guys have questions, fire away. We're happy to happy to answer anything. 
Yeah, if anybody else is outside enjoying a cigar and some bourbon, cheers yeah. to you. Um, and that was an, that was another thing I was going to ask if if anybody would ever be interested in. I know a lot of times. I know the one thing is the the bourbon junkies go on an hour after, kind of I do. But I wasn't sure if anybody would be interested in like just a an open ended live stream where we just kind of shoot the shit and have a cigar and and all that. I don't want to like step on anyone's toes with anything, but if anybody would ever be interested in anything that like that, just you know, let me know. So. Yeah, mine. Yeah, my number one is a lot of corn and a lot of cinnamon. Oh yeah, uh, mine has cinnamon, chocolate, caramel, and I know a lot of these American whiskeys are are high corn. And when I talked to Mark and Sherry a couple weeks ago, they kind of you know were kind of going over all of that to let us know exactly what mm. kind of the mash bills and stuff were. And I think she even said these things were like in the eighties in terms of the percentage of corn. So yeah. Well, for the American whiskey, for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely the American whiskey. Boy, that's interesting. There's something that's that's different on this one. Yeah, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of oak on this one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a, a try. Boy, with some of these, and I would say right away, this is one of the American whiskeys because I get a little bit of that, like that old, like kind of dusty, like a dusty yeah. flavor, like a, a dusty element for sure. Yeah, there's a dusty element, like that leather, that like kind of deep leather, um, you know, but really it's bold, a lot of dark fruits on this. But yeah, I always get that, just that, that little bit of a, a dusty funk that's there to it that you don't get in a lot of other, you know, specifically bourbons and even some other American whiskeys. So, yeah. Oh my God. It's definitely an American. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, big, bold cherry notes. And again, just so anybody coming in now, we have really all three of the American whiskeys, batch one, two, and three, a smoke wagon, uh, the uncut unfiltered, and I've got one of the bourbons, and I think you've got a bourbon mixed in here as well, right? Yeah, our my bourbon and your bourbon are two different ones. My bourbon yeah. that I have mixed up in here is a Barrel 23, uh, which I think oh. was part of the Batch 1 series. It's an MGP sitting at 119.5. Okay. <clears throat> Man, leather, cherry. Yep. Yeah, it's um. this has a lot. This one has a lot going on. I mean, as far as the American whiskeys go or just whiskey in general – this is again one of these nice high proof bold chocolatey you know dark fruits um not not over oaked by really any mean there's some oak that's that's there but um yeah you know um and considering then just, oh, sorry, say, considering batch 3 is uh predominantly 15 year according it, to the carters yeah exactly so and and batch 3 is Batch three is a was an incredible one, and I'm I'm hoping as we go through these, I can kind of pick it out. I'm I'm hoping I can because it just seemed like it really kind of stood out. So yeah, yeah. Um, where was that? Um, yeah, like Jeff Perkins, like batch three is like nutter butter. Uh, very, that's a very mm. good like kind of descriptor. That is on that, that is, one. Yeah. You know, I like that. Mm. Yeah, I really like I really like this one. It seems like the more I've had these open now for a little while and all of these bottles, yep. I think as far as I'm concerned, and I mean, as far as what you've got and what I've had have all been open, the bottles have been open for a period of time. So these things have all had a chance to, to really, yeah, uh, these, to really open up. These have all been open for well over three weeks. Uh, and then they sat out here, we sat on here for a half hour, didn't yep. touch any of them. So, yep. no, they've had a they're, chance to, to really, very open. Well open up. yeah. All right, so I think one, man, one is, I mean, geez, I could stop right there and be happy all night long. Yeah, I, I, I wonder if yours and mine are the, are the same. I don't know. I mean, it's just that that big, that it's just that big, bold, old Carter flavor that it's got to it. Oh, yeah, very just viscous. I mean, yeah. I mean, but, look at the I, look at the legs on it. I mean, it just stuck to the glass. Well, and that's the thing it is. I mean, I don't know if anybody can really probably not very well, but, um, you know, that's the one thing. I mean, and, and here's the other thing I didn't even probably really note was 
we're drinking this thing. We already know it's high proof and this is not drinking nearly. I mean, if, if you were asked, I mean, if, if someone asked me what this was, I mean, maybe I would say 105, maybe. I mean, it is not drinking hot at all. I know with uh, batch two, one oh, it's a, uh, it's the one thirty nine point two, and we were doing a smoke wagon flight test, and then wow. I just, I just acquired this bottle. I'm like, here, try this one. It's also mm -hmm. an MGP, and he's like, oh yeah, that's really good. It's it's very full, you know, for being such a, he said a a a, a lighter whiskey, like meaning like he thought it was, he thought it was a hundred proof. Really, and I was like, what? Yeah. I was like. I was like, this is this is way more than the smoke wagons that you're drinking. This is 139.2. You almost fell off the chair. And that's and that's crazy that you can get that kind of proof and that it drinks like to somebody that low, you know? Yeah, yeah. Which is always also a, a good sign of a, a nice solid whiskey too. When you're not getting all that big alcohol burn and everything, you've got a you've got a nice big bowl rich, you know, whiskey on your hand. So yep. Yep. All, all right. right. Let's try number uh two. Ooh, this is that's interesting. That's way different. This uh, way different. Man, hold on. Huh, boy, that's I'm like, wow, this not very often. Like on mine, I'm getting like, well, like before one of the other guys, um, Jeff Perkins said nutter butter, and I was gonna say there's this like sweet peanutty peanutty note to it and it's i mean it's got yeah. really good really good color good legs i don't know if anybody yeah. can really see that or not but um man this is very much this is very much that um you know one one for me was more bold so far i mean especially i haven't tried this one yet but like one was just a nice big bold um you know bourbon so yeah a little cinnamon on this one Yeah, there's something else that's there. I'm trying to pick out on this. I'm getting almost like a burnt toast. Oh, like a uh, oh, here's here, here burnt uh uh like a raisin bread. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's a it's a thing. Like as soon as like you start giving descriptors, then you like somehow start smelling those things. You know, it's like yeah, oh, you, yeah. even though we're not even drinking the same thing, you somehow convince yourself sometimes. But we were we had some people over and all, all bourbon guys all in the club, and we're sitting there. And my wife was hanging out. It's a nice day, and she I'm like, here, why don't you try some of this? And she spit out some notes, and mm -hmm. she was like Jolly Rancher, and she said something else, and we were all like, oh my god, that's so. Like my wife has a great palate. I wish she drank more bourbon. I tell you, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of times the case, you know, with um with women. I I try to do it with with my wife a little bit. And she's like, ah, I just want to drink it. That's so good, boy. This one for me, whatever this one is, this is a little bit more, a little more, a little more alcohol forward, a little, little more heat. Um, I don't know what um what yeah. this what this one is but there's definitely more heat some corn oh, that's interesting hmm. oh, i'm glad there's no wrong answers <laughs> yeah that there isn't yeah whatever you know and taste it is what it is oh man oh that's... yeah there's something like a this one is a a lot of like the um bur burnt sugar burnt sugar yeah yeah um i put down burnt caramel burnt raisin bread it's yeah. like uh it's uh, almost reminds me of like um like an elephant ear like yeah. just sweet like it's just sweet and bready and huh yeah this one for, for whatever reason like tasting this after the, the first one i tried I'm not I'm not super crazy about about this one. Um it's a little it's a little more I guess I'll say like a little more astringent. There's that bitterness to this one that I'm that I'm getting okay. that I'm not that I'm not super crazy about. This one's a lower proof. Big time. The one and you if I'm wrong, yeah. I mean I'm drinking it, it's like water compared to the first one. Oh. 
Yeah, that's and that's the thing. I mean, the way these are are kind of drinking not hot at all, and they're you know they're not drinking their proofs. I'll say that. I mean, it's just that first one. You know, I'm sure it's obviously high proof, but it didn't taste it at all. But now this one, um, it is a little bit and. Um, you'll see like I've got, so how I did the arrangement was I've got a logo on each glass that my wife, again, she filled up the, um, uh, the glass and then kind of put a little uh, sticky note inside an envelope that I've got here. So we'll be able to reveal it based on the, the logo on the glass. So, yeah, I, I got numbers on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. There's something about this one that I'm not like super, super crazy about it. So, um, yeah, that one, that one for me is, um, that'll be interesting to see what, what that I'm, is. It, the nose was much better on it right away than, than the palette. So, all right. What's Jeff? Yeah, I, I like, I like the palette on this one a lot. Uh, it's chocolatey, uh, but like a milk chocolate, it's not, it's not, it doesn't have the same like burning effect like this one does. Mm -hmm. And when I say burning, I mean, just like the taste, uh, is like something that came out of the toaster. Yeah. This one has more like light chocolate, uh, caramel, vanilla, the whole typical bourbon lineup there. But okay. that's what I'm thinking that this might be, this is, this might be the old Carter bourbon. Maybe my guess. Yeah. And I, I'm trying to figure out because this that I had in, in the, in my second glass, um, specifically the, uh, the distilled America glass that I've got labeled. Um, it's just, it, it, it doesn't, there's something that's not very familiar with it, which is odd. And I, I'm hoping that that's not one of the American whiskeys. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see what the we'll see what the third one. So we'll see where that goes. But, but yeah, um, what Jeffrey's asking? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, MGP taste profile. So far, the first two are got the MGP taste. It just uh, one one's a little hotter than the other. And yeah, you can tell. and and for, maybe even and, age differently. Yeah, and for me, and for me, not like that second one versus the first one. The first one for me was the big, bold, spicy. Um, a lot of those normal flavors, but that second glass for me was a little, was a little, uh, little different. So, but all right. Are you ready to move on to your third one or no? Yes, sir. All right. I don't, uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want, I don't want to rush through these things, but, oh man, see, here you go. Like, I think I'm going to be able to pick out all the American whiskeys because there's that, that dusty, funky, like, you know, richness that's there to it, chocolate, all of that. So there's a reason why I have so much of it. I can see why. <laughs> I can see why. It is, it's, just so a very, it's just a very easy oh nose. You're not getting a lot, you're not getting a lot of heat or anything. So this is yeah. completely different. This has yeah. like a very like a super cherry note. Oh, interesting. Well, apple, like apple pie. Huh. Oh yeah. A lot of apple, like uh, holy cow! Yeah, I said Jolly Rancher earlier. Almost getting like that uh, apple Jolly Rancher. Huh? Interesting. Very sweet. Yeah, this is yeah number three. I get a lot of sweet. Too. Oh, oh. Lot of apple. Yeah, this is a lot of dark fruit on mine. Huh? This is always, this is always the fun part of. Of just trying to go through these blinds and just, you know, having fun with them and trying to, you know, you know, kind of go back to whatever, you know, you've, you've smelled it, you've tasted it before, and you're just trying to like match these things up. But yeah. For me. It almost has like a rye to it. This almost has like a, like the, like a, a freshly cut grass it has that whole like rye. Well, then maybe, maybe, maybe that could be the, maybe that could be the smoke wagon. Cause I think that's a, that's part of their high ride mash bill. So yeah, you know, if you're getting a big, that's one thing I'd say so far, I haven't got a lot of, of a rye note on a lot of these things yet. So, um, hmm. yeah, this is definitely like a sweet dark fruit, a dusty corn. Um, oh. Uh, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that one's definitely the smoke wagon. You think so, hey? I don't know. I don't <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't hold oh, me. To, don't hold me to any of these. I'm gonna probably get all five of them wrong. So I mean, if I'm if I'm telling you that it's a smoke wagon, then I'm telling you this one is like uh, the old Carter Batch too, and yeah. if that turns out to be the smoke wagon. I'm gonna slap <laughs> myself. Which uh, I which spend 150 150 less dollars to get the smoke wagon. Yeah, that's the that's the truth. That's the best part about doing these things. I mean, you just never know what what anything's gonna be, and as soon as you think you know, you, you don't. You know, so. Yeah, this is a lot of a lot of dark fruit and cherry on three. Yeah, not a lot of. I'm not getting a lot of heat. A little more heat on this. A lot of little more heat on this one, but. But yeah, that high corn that when you really kind of get down in there, you start to really pull. You know those American whiskeys. You start to get that sweet corn, like a like a sweet cornbread. That's what that is. I'm trying to figure out what that was. All right. All right. I got to give this one a try and see what in the world I've got here. That's the thing. We like knows these things and you're like convinced of something. Then you taste it. You're like, no, oh, that changes that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I just, oh, the nose is amazing. Like, oh. Hmm. Man, this is big. This is another um this is another big boy right here. This could one so far for me, one and three are the American whiskeys, and two two, I'm not sure if that's the smoke wagon or if that's the the old Carter bourbon, but with their American whiskeys, I still get those big, heavy, dark fruits and cherry that dusty yeah. note to it. I see uh Jason with the mash and drum. What up, Jason? Uh, hey, buddy. How's it going? He said, he said, smoke wagon is citrus bomb. And that's a lot of what I'm getting out of this. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that one is the smoke wagon. I'm gonna I, highlight was this. I was wondering if maybe that was, was back too. I, I'm not getting a lot of, I'm not getting a lot of citrus on two. Like I thought maybe that would be the smoke wagon. Maybe a little bit, but man, that, that nutter butter note is kind of what comes through on three, but it was just, it was very like astringent. That was the weird part. And I mean, if I, I guess if I had, to, if I had to guess, I'm gonna maybe say like two for me is the, is the smoke wagon. It seems a little off profile right now from the others. But, um, what do we got here? So, mm. yeah, Chris H. Thanks okay. for. Uh, Thanks for uh, getting hooked on that. I appreciate it, bud. I'll take all I can get at this point. <laughs> I appreciate that. Chris H., thank you. Um, all right, so what is Jeff uh, Jeff H.? So let's see what we have here. Uh, if you taste it on the back of your tongue in the smoke wagon, high rye bourbon, yeah. So that's the one thing you have to get. I mean, two, two, I wasn't getting a lot of that, but I'm gonna, I got to go back to two and just see. I don't know. That could be, there's a little alcohol on. That's always one thing I got sometimes with some of the smoke wagon was a little, a little alcohol forward sometimes with it. So I'd be, I'd be very surprised if, if my second one isn't the, isn't the smoke wagon. There's still that soft, rich caramel note to it. That's really good. I mean, on its own, it's great, but I mean, we're tasting, we're tasting a lot of really good whiskeys up against a lot of other really good whiskey. So <laughs> all, all of these on their own are like, we would, Dan and I, we'd sip on that, all of these, you know, all day yeah, long yeah. if we, if we could. So, yeah, but yeah. Absolutely. Right, which we do, which we do. So I don't have a lot of stuff that's under hundred proof. Some of the dusty, some of the just, you know, slightly older bottles stuff you can't get anymore. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely a proof whore. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, there, there's, where you, I mean, <laughs> I at, at, yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, that's where you get all a lot of your big, bold flavors. I mean, when you're not stripping a lot from the whiskey and they're, you know, not chill filtering and all of that, that's where they're retaining all of those flavors. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Jeff said, you know, the sometimes the smoke wagon can definitely be hot and, and it is at, at times. So, yeah, you know, and that's the thing. I, learn, this is I, a smoke wagon. Yeah, for me, I think two is is smoke wagon too. But 
for me, one and three so far, are probably the American whiskeys. I don't think I've run across the, the bourbon or the, or the third American whiskey yet, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that, uh, I haven't had my bourbon in a long time, uh, the old Carter bourbon. So I, I can't remember the profile on that one, but yeah. Well, no. Yeah. You're going to find it. You're going to know probably right away, especially if you taste it somewhere either. Well, obviously you probably will after the smoke wagon or the American whiskey, it'll probably pop out. So this one's the only one I'm so far I'm confident in is, uh, is an American is the first one. Okay. Right. Yeah. For me, I think my, I think my first one is an American whiskey. I think the second one for me is the smoke wagon. I think the third one is another American whiskey. And now we're going to move on to four. And I guess what we can do is once we get through these, we can always go back through them a little bit too. We'll go in yeah. reverse, reverse order to see what we get there too. So. Oh my God. Yes. Oh man. There's a, that's an, that's an interesting one there. This, this could be the bourbon right here. This is, this is going to be batch two or three. What what's the um? Do we know what the mash bill on their bourbon is? Do we know is it is it one of the high rye MGPs? Yeah, we know it is. Okay, I, it's it's an MGP, so it yeah. has to be a high rye. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were. I wasn't sure if they were like um if they were using the thirty six percent or not. If they were going um if they were going with a little bit lower, but I know their other yeah. one still still like in the in the twenties, like I don't know twenty two percent or something like that. Yeah, this one is. Oh, this one, this one's American. This one's so good. Yeah, you kind of know that one right away. Those, those kind of stand out. The American whiskey just stands out. It's just kind of one of those things where, when you know that nose on it, you just know. Yeah, I mean, like you said it before, it's just that it has that uh, dusty scent. Like, yeah. For those that have had a few dusties in their day. Yeah. And you understand it just it just has this old dusty smell yeah it's like that old it's like an i mean i guess the the way i always thought of it is like this like old like like wet you know oak and stuff oh my buddy brian's in here brian baltazor he's a uh everybody give him a hard time he's a he's a tito's vodka guy shame on him. oh okay yeah it's embarrassing, it's embarrassing. i always i always kind of i always bust his balls about it but he knows he knows oh well, not that it's a bad thing but he can hang out with my wife that's what she drinks yeah that's okay yeah, this is oh, a, my, yeah. My guess is that this oh, is probably so gonna be, this is probably going to be the bourbon. Get a little more rye note on that corn, some rye on this. Still those caramel sweetness, and it probably doesn't help. We're also outside too, so you've got the wind factor, and there's a few other things. So it's not always the easiest to to nose things outdoors, but. We yeah, don't, I don't know. Don't, I don't know what don't. you had for dinner. You know, I had a cheeseburger and uh, yeah. some potato salad. And yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, we could go back through these and they they taste different. You know, tomorrow. You know, I mean, it's not a bad one of the bunch. It's just no, there, there's not. Better. No, there's there's not. I mean, if there was if there was a bad one, we would we probably wouldn't have it for the most part, unless we made a bad mistake somewhere. Oh, but God. this one is, I'm going on a limb here. It's either two or three. Both of two or three are pretty similar from what I remember, and they're just so good. This is my favorite so far, the, the four. Okay. First four. Yeah, I think, I think this is the I think this is the bourbon. Oh, just, this one just coats my mouth. Uh, it's like yeah. and it just keeps because it just stays in your mouth and it just it just keeps going and going and going. And it's uh oh man, like it's like chocolate. It's like chocolate cherry pie. If that makes any sense. Chocolate burnt cherry pie. Well, and that's kind of a good descriptor because kind of what I'm tasting a little bit right now is 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 that a little bit too. There's a lot of that richness that's there, you know. But that, you know, also that descriptor was one that I used to get off the smoke wagon. I yeah. got this like apple pie kind of note from the smoke wagon when I tried them. Um. But I didn't get that. I didn't get that on two here, and I can almost guarantee the fifth one, just based on the color, is not going to be the smoke wagon. So, I mean that that last one I think I have on there is maybe the darkest. 
but we will see. You know, and before we started, we were commenting, I was commenting on the color, and now the, the you know the sun's not shining right on them. But I said that this number four, this one had a, a different, you know, it was lighter. It was the lighter yeah. of the five. Yeah. So but you're not but you're not but you're not getting like a lot of like that is a light that like that is a layer of wisdom here. Oh no, not at all. Yeah. No, it has uh it's definitely a higher proof. Yeah. Hmm. Man, this is just a. Oh, it is so good. Just like orange pepper. zest. Oh man, that is. Yeah, it's crazy. So nice nice mouthfeel. Well, it'll be interesting to see where we rank them amongst each other. So yeah, that'll be the that'll be an interesting thing. There's a good, there's a good uh, a good way to reset right there. Smell the foot. Yeah. Of, smell the foot of the cigar and oh you, yeah change you'll kind of alter that now you get into the whiskeys and now they'll be even like more intense yep oh man yeah i really i really like i really like four i think that's i think that's the bourbon i'm just gonna write i'm just trying to guess a little bit on that there's just the complexity that's there to them that's the one thing with old carter is that there's just that there's that complexity yeah. factor to it. You know, they're big and bold and rich. They don't drink super hot. They're mouth coating. They're everything that all of us who enjoy higher proof whiskeys really enjoy about, you know, a whiskey specifically. So, yeah. Jeff kind of, Jeff said something here. Uh, we did a whole MGP um, tasting with MGP mm -hmm. uh, on a live stream. And one of them was Remus 3. And he's right. It, it did have a uh, a dusty profile to it as well. Actually, Remus Three was so good. Like, and I don't own it. I have Remus Two, so I'm on a I'm on a hunt for the Remus Three. I, I saw I saw that one. Um, I heard was supposed to be released in August. Uh, maybe Remus Four. Remus Three is on the shelves. It's oh, it is. Out. Okay, okay. So maybe that's the fourth yeah. one then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, saw, I just saw something today that there was that the new one was coming out in in August. I wasn't sure if that was three or four. If I poured you any of the uh, releases of yeah. the old, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? The bomb, old fangled. Oh yeah. Any of the just their typical releases that they had, not the store pick or anything like that. You could compare that to the Remus Three, and it you would you wouldn't you couldn't tell the difference. And yet, the Remus Three is available. Obviously, Blom is not, and secondary, it's six hundred bucks. Some of them. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That for me was. I remember going back a couple of years ago when I was at a, a whiskey event up in Madison, and I I had hadn't tried it, heard about it, and when I first tried it, it really like caught me off guard. I'm like, holy cow, that was that was a really good bourbon. I mean, really for what a hundred bucks. Whatever it yeah. is, I think they're hundred bucks. No, uh, eighty bucks. The oh, is that eighty bucks? Oh, yeah, the Remus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that the, that's the repeal? The yes. like repeal or whatever it is. And, um, and, and Benny's actually has it on sale. I think right now seventy four ninety nine. Yeah, that's a hell of a deal. I mean, that's a pretty good. I mean, for for a whiskey that's got some age to it, it was pretty darn complex. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So we tried all three of them, and it went three, two, one. Oh, like best to last. So it started with three is the best one, then two, okay. then one. Which, you know, a lot of times that's the thing. As they develop the product a little bit more and learn from each one, you know, they start to get, you know, even better and better. So, well, that's but, that's what you hope to do with anything in life, right? Yeah, true. Very true. Yep, that's very true. Yeah, you don't definitely don't want to be going in the other order. That That's bad. <laughs> when you, when you, hit, the, when you yeah. hit the grand slam right away and then everything else that follows up is shit, then you're really in trouble. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, anxious to try five here and see what this guy is. This guy's been, I don't know, you guys can maybe see that. Look at the color on that. Yeah, same here. It's really, this is dark. Yeah, or this is pretty darn it's close. Pretty similar. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, my God. Sit back and enjoy this one. Yeah, it's another one. I think I've got, it's kind of, it's kind of odd how it's gone. Like, I think it's really, I think it's one, three, and five for me in terms of the the American or yeah, the American whiskeys. Oh man, that is 
again, it's just, you know, the uh, honestly, to me, I think a lot of the American whiskeys, I mean, they're, they have, they're obviously very similar in profile. Like, I think I'd have a really difficult time based on the nose and maybe even tasting them as to which batch it is. But there's just that note. There's that big, bold richness that just stands out in them, you know? Yeah. Now, see, this one is more like burnt caramel, burnt honey. This one is more, this one has that like citrus or lime or uh, orange peel. Yeah. This one's way different. Oh, yeah, mine is mine. I, I would say kind of similar with mine. Mine's a little more, a little more like there's this tartness to it, but, but bold. A lot of still the vanilla is the caramel, the oak that's there. And this almost has like a finishing aspect to it, to be honest. Man, but so far, like, I mean, we've got our nose like down in these things that are 139 proof that like nothing is burning at all. Yeah, see, I think the one, like to me, the one in your right hand is a little darker. Looks darker, yeah. It does a little to bit me, darker for sure. Does to me, but um yeah, I, I think I think this is again one of the other American whiskeys. Man, but again, nice bold. Mm. That oak. You know, it's just it's just like that. It's not always the the big bold oak. There's just that like it's like a sweet oak. There's just something about it. Um mm. Yeah, so like Jeff said, um, I mean, I think on mine, I, I think the color-wise, I think they're all like very close. Some of the American whiskeys, only because there's some of them that have a little older juice in them that probably will bring out a little bit more of the the color and stuff in them. So, yeah, I, I could tell you the the. Hey, I got the bottles. So, here's an American. Here's the bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, they're all I mean, dark. I mean, they're they like, dark. Yeah. I mean, they're, I mean, you can't even hardly tell either one of them apart, to be honest. Yeah. They're that I close. can't hold up the smoke wagon because it's a dark bottle. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's the one thing with, man, the, the old Carter stuff. I mean, they're, they're choosing between a lot of good stuff. I mean, in the interview that I did with, with Mark and Sherry, you know, a lot of it seems like they're going in, they're maybe paying a little bit more but they're kind of going in and, and picking their own barrels and stuff. So they're getting the cream of the crop in terms of what everybody's, what everybody's doing. So big, sexy ADHD whiskey in the house. How's it there going? There he is. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, I, I was, that's another one. I was mad about getting late, late on his stream with Dixon, but I ended up watching it at one in the morning, like an idiot. But yeah. I went back and watched some of the recent was, stuff. Yeah. I know we were busy when we were doing all that stuff. I didn't chance to watch live but that was awesome what he did for st jude's and all that and raising yeah, raising that kind of money for, yeah i mean that's a that's an awesome thing you should be you should be proud of that so that was that's I, awesome i know i would have put a decent dollar in for that uh dixon deadman weller foolproof yeah that was pretty that was pretty cool so yeah five is five is incredible i mean again it's just another you know that caramel that you know, you kind of get a little bit of a, a little bit of a toasty, a little bit of those burnt sugars, that kind of toasty note to it. Yeah. This, yeah. Maybe that finishing note I was picking up is, is a little bit of like a, like a, like a toasted barrel note, almost like maybe just a, um, like a creamy, uh, creamy caramel, like a toast, like a marshmallow. Yeah. Five is five is, I mean, the nose is great. The nose is great. What is that? All right. All right. Karen B. Ford, how's it going, Karen? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Honest Charlie. Thank you, sir. Cheers, guys. Yes. Cheers to all of you. All right. Five. I can't wait to taste five. Man, this one, this one's also really good, but just not the same as this one, which so far is my favorite. But these two are so different. This one almost has like a fabric softener nose to it. 
Oh, that's interesting. Something, yeah, something like light and like uh, um, almost uh, um, like flowery rose petal. It is is three? Is three the one? The one you're sniffing right now? Is is that yeah, the one? Is three. Is that the one you think is maybe smoke wagon? Possibly. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm thinking is. Yeah, because I mean, I got like in two, I got something that was totally off profile that was different than what I was smelling with with any of these. You know, and the more I kind of think about this one, I mean, there's a chance that this is that this is the old Carter bourbon as well. But I thought four was I thought maybe maybe one, three, five. I thought four was the bourbon, but I'll have to go back through and see what the but yeah, five is five is delicious. Yeah. This one's also very, very good. And I mean it has to be an American, but it does not drink like any of these Americans. I've never had your batch one, 134.9. Yeah. That could be it, but it's really good. And that's the thing. Like, that's one thing that neither one of us has have even mentioned is heat. Like, there's nothing drinking. Yeah, there's hot, nothing. None of this. It, it's not like a stag junior or stag. No. Like it's like, I mean, the only it's, thing the only, the only it's thing that's so been good. a little the only thing that's been a little off profile for me was two. Two was different than than all the other ones. I mean, I, I think two was Smoke wagon, um, and I'm just I'm just jotting it down because I think that's what it is. Okay. Um, and the Amer and the American whiskeys, I can't tell any of those. They're I mean, all of them are have a very similar profile, but they're not drinking. I mean, I mean we're talking about almost 140 proof on one, and I've not tasted one so far that I said is is 140. I would never guess. Any of yeah. them on these right now? I couldn't tell you. One's 140 or one's 114. It, it yeah. shouldn't be that. It shouldn't no. be hard. It should be like, oh my god, no. my nose hair just fell out of my face. I yeah. mean, if, if you if you had a gun to my head, you told me <laughs> you told me you tell me the max the max proof on this thing right now. I don't think so far I could even get above 115. And I mean, above that would be really stretching it so far. Yeah. With these. But man, five is five is really good. It's just. Yeah, it's like the caramel and the cherry, and oh. this one is yeah. This one, one is a, a a dark chocolate, nutty leather. Yeah, one and one and five, one and five for me so far are probably my two favorites. It's so almost. I'm going to go on to let me say these two. This one is going to be the old Carter bourbon. Okay. And this one's the smoke wagon. Okay. It's my guess. And then. Just one, three, or one, four, and five. Yeah, they're all, you know, that's the one thing. I mean, the, the American whiskeys, I think I've got, it's really kind of come down to the bourbon and the, the smoke wagon. You know, I think I've got the smoke wagon. And it, I mean, those two, I think, could be flip flop, but man, I've not, I've never really had a bad, like, old car that's so, like, off profile. So, so Jeff H. Here. <laughs> <He's off from laughs> <the door. laughs> uh, that's no. good. That's good. No, and that's on the other side of my house where the exhaust is. That's good. Is your wife doing laundry? Yeah. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately for me, our stuff is out the other side, so I would never even smell it back here. Yeah. So I don't get a. Don't get <laughs> that's a funny. Anything. He's been to my house. That's why he knows. Uh, okay, that's good. Yeah, is your wife doing laundry? That's good. And these two are pretty similar this one just has a little bit more ethanol okay Same yeah, that, nosing and that's what i got with two i got a little more a little more ethanol a little more like kind of bitterness to it even though the nose right away started out nice as that kind of like nutter butter but then it kind of got it kind of changed a little bit as i as i tasted it so <laughs> yeah all right well i guess we can run back through from five to one and see what uh I think I think I think we've already kind of pre predetermined what we think they are at this point. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh man. But I mean, what's the should we what should the, we line them up in order like what we like the most? Yeah, yeah. Let's That's let's do that. Least. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna do I'll do that right now. Um, right, let me try to let me try to not screw this up here. All right. So I think I've got. I think I've got that now. So maybe I'll run back through 
I think I think five and four for me are probably a little similar, but I think once we get to three, two, one, I think we'll we'll really get a, a good idea. So hey buddy, and anybody who hasn't uh, seen Wisco Whiskey Review, go check out his uh, YouTube channel. He does a really, really good job. So nice. I'll leave that up there for a few minutes. Yeah, there's just something I I think my guess would be. Man, I like I like the nose. Like, there's just I think this is a smoke wagon. Man. I think five is a smoke wagon because I'm still getting that that caramel apple pie note, and that's one thing I get with the uncut, unfiltered, and it's and it's really good. You know, I just think it's a little unfair to maybe be comparing that to these. You know, so. Oh man, these two, these two are so good. These first two. And, and I know there's a lot of guys in my club that have received batch twos and batch threes. Some people both. Yeah. And, uh, and they, they just want to know, they're like, you know, some people got a two, some people got a three and they're like, which one's better? Like, and, you know, yeah. it's so hard to tell maybe what you think is better. It may not be what I think is better, well, but I'm going to tell you what I think, what I think today. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. I mean, again, at the end of the day, it's all subjective. You like what you like for whatever the reason is, and it is what it is. But you know, I think that's the one like common thing. You talk to a lot of guys who really enjoy a lot of the high proof stuff. You you really know when you've got something that's like that special one. Like this is a good one. You know. Yeah. Yeah, four is four is good too. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Almost positive four is maybe the bourbon. You yeah, know, this one, this one's probably old Carter bourbon. This one's probably the smoke wagon. It'll be interesting. It's, just, right, it's so weird. It's so I, weird. I think for I think for me, like like five, I believe is the smoke wagon. Four, three, and four could be very close for me right now in terms of how I have it in that order. Cause I'm starting to get a little bit more of that, that dusty funkiness, but I haven't had, I haven't had the old Carter bourbon in a while. So I'm trying to like, remember back if I still got that like lighter, like dusty funky note that I'm getting right now on four. Do you get it? On, do you get it on the bourbons at all too? Uh, on, on like the smoke wagon. Yeah. Or no, the, um, like the uh, old Carter bourbon. Do you get a, do you get like that so, little bit of a dusty note too? I, it's been so long since I've had my bourbon. Like yeah. ever since I've been getting the Americans and getting more of them, I've only had one bourbon. So I kind of like put that off to the side and I just drink the yeah. Americans like crazy. Yeah. And I know that's like what throws so many people off because it says American. Maybe we should reiterate in case they weren't on the show with yeah. the Carters. Yeah. I know a lot of people explain why. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know a um, lot of people, I know a lot of people always ask, like why is it American yeah. whiskey? I get it all the time. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So American. So with with the old card or the American whiskey, uh, everything gets put in at a higher mash bill. That also has a reason why it comes out at one hundred thirty nine point two, one hundred eight point, one hundred thirty eight point one, uh, and then uh, also it it gets finished in a in a different uh, bourbon cask. So it has two different casks that it gets put into. Uh, and what, what's the other reason I'm missing? There's another one I thought. Um, I know those are the two main ones that definitely makes it uh, a whiskey and not a bourbon. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? Oh, the um, the entry proof. I think they go in higher than what the yeah. um, yeah, so they they go in, in above, yeah, they go in with the uh, in terms of the um. Uh, the percentage, what is it? The, the highest you can go in for it to be bourbon is what? 165? 125, I thought. 125, yeah, yeah, 125. Um, yeah. And I, I think they go in above 125 with the American whiskey. So by default yeah. right there, you're already eliminating the fact that it, it's, you know, bourbon. So, and yeah, American whiskey, you can go in at, I, I don't know, I mean, high, but, you know, obviously above 125, once it gets there, it can no longer be considered bourbon, so... Jeffrey has a good Thanks, question but, too. Uh, with, uh, uh, yeah, so that's another. It's another good one. So, all right. Thanks I, for the the uh, two dollars super chat. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, Jeff, that's a good. 
That's a good one. So light, that's a great light, answer. That's a great light whiskey is like another one of these things that like, if people really tried good light whiskeys, I mean, they are, they can be absolutely incredible. You know, it's another one of those categories of, you know, that the, the word light is already like completely deceptive and people think like it's some, it's going to be like a, like literally a light whiskey. And it's like the complete opposite of that. So yeah. if you get a chance um, to try some good, like light whiskeys, MGP has got some old age stock light whiskey that you, um, if you can get your hands on some of it, it it's absolutely fantastic. So delicious. Yeah. All right. I got to get back into three here. I'm almost positive. Three is going to be another one of the American whiskeys. It's between three and four. Like I'm flip-flopping between three and four being one of the, one of the American whiskeys. Yeah. I still think, I still think three is, but man, whatever I've got is one and two. One and two are like big and bold. Like one and two are really, are really standing out quite a bit for me. Yeah, me too. Like, I hope you guys are all, I hope for anybody who doesn't live around nature, you guys appreciate what we have around us. So, yeah, we have. We have bird, we have we have birds and llama and elk and bear and all kinds oh. of stuff around here. So we got oh. some z. If you guys pay attention, there might be some zebras that run behind Dan and stuff. We got all kinds of crazy things here. No, there's, there's an elephant back there though. Yeah, just, I saw it go by before. So yeah, there he goes. Up, oh, he there just he is. Uh, his his trunk just <laughs> disappeared. So. Uh. Oh man. Man, one one and two are for me. One and two are like standing out like uh, a sore thumb. So, yeah. So, like Matt said, I know he did like a review. I think of that that Cat's Eye Distillery. They they've got a lot of um kind of like uh, publicity recently, and I know they do a another light whiskey that are absolutely fantastic. So, and I guess Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you did a review of of their light whiskey i i know you did something with them but i couldn't remember if it was a light whiskey or not so hey john how's it going appreciate it uh what's he got here uh let's see what we have here hey guys had the 13 year mgp light whiskey last night drinks nowhere near 137 none of them do that's one thing with light whiskey that again they just never drink their proof and they're always high proof like that they're just high proof delicious yeah and it's nothing to argue about. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's an absolutely fantastic whiskey. And I, I'm kind of hoping that becomes one of the like newer things that kind of start to pop up a little bit more of, because I think, I think people need to, to really like understand and appreciate like that category of, of whiskey. And if, if you try them, I think you'll be absolutely, um, you know, blown away. So blown away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's what I want. I want something I'm going to enjoy, not something that's like, oh my God, it's so hard to get this bottle. I want to spend, you know, 500 bucks on it. And then you don't drink it and it sits in a, uh, a nice shelf. No, yeah. I want, I want to drink my stuff. Like yeah. anybody I, that knows me, everything gets popped open and we're drinking it and we're right. going to try it. And it's like, you know what? And that's what happens. So it's like, I'll buy two of everything. Yeah. And then the second I try it and I like it, I'm going to go search for more of it. If I try it and I don't like it, I return the other bottle. Yeah. Then it's that nice. <laughs> that's kind of nice that you're able to return something. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. I mean, I, I think a lot of us are are kind of the same. There's the one bottle. I honestly don't know if I'll ever be able to do it. I've had it, but I've got that Al Young 50th. And I've got it. It was signed by Al Young and Brett Elliott. Yeah. I, I just, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe like on my deathbed, I'm gonna say fuck it and say give me that thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna chug the hell out of that thing or something. But I don't know if I should be waiting till I'm like dying to enjoy it or what the hell to do. But man, it's like would, would you would you ever sell it? I don't think so. Okay. It so was, the way I would look at it is when you pour it, only you pour it. You don't touch the signature. The signatures that's just that's a yeah. phenomenal piece. Uh, now, if you yeah. drink the whiskey. The person that signed it is going to respect you more. And yeah. when it's and all said and done, 
that signature is still there. That bottle is still there. Whether it has whiskey in it, you can put anything else in. You can put some old stuff in there if you want yeah, or, you know, true. leave it on the shelf. But at least you enjoyed that whiskey that he – that's what he would prefer. He would prefer you to open that bottle. I know. And I've, I've had the opportunity to try that. It's it's really good. Yeah, it is. I And I've had it before, and it's fantastic. It's just like – there's just something about, like, you know, once you start to crack it open and drink it, you're probably not going to get it. I mean, the – I mean, the secondary value on that thing has skyrocketed so much that I know I'll never be able to get another one of those bad boys. Everything yeah. in yeah. secondary skyrocket. I just it blows my mind at this time. And like, what is going on? I guess people like they just stayed home and drank everything that they had in their bunker, yeah. and now they're just spending ridiculous money so they don't have to go to a liquor store. Yeah. I don't know, uh -huh. but it's uh, it's you know, it's definitely made me halt, and I don't need it that bad, or yeah, like. I'm searching for stuff like old Carter. That's not going up in price. Yeah, You know, the thing, the thing for me, and I, I think I, I somehow justify in my mind why I don't open it is because I've got other really good things and I don't have to worry about opening it. I'll say that for a rainy day, but it's sure. just, an, it's just an excuse for it to sit there on the shelf, you know, for like a special occasion. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that may be. I don't know what that would be. Okay. So I know, I know my 40th is coming up uh, in August. And when that happens, I have a sample two ounce sample that I won in a raffle uh, of the Michter celebration. Oh. And that'll be the day I open that. Yeah. And, and again, there's, oh. there's a, there's another big one. So, I mean, it's, so for me, I've got in a few years, big old five Oh will be coming up. So okay. may, maybe, maybe for that, I mean, that's kind of a special one because at that point, you know, you're kind of on the, you know, you kind of maybe reached the plateau. Now here you kind of, the downside of things are going to start. The happening. Apex. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, fifth, 50 could be 50 could be a big one so that would be if i'm going to open it it could be it could be very um could be right around that uh that time so yeah oh man Can i know find out what these are let's uh let's do it so why don't uh should we just we'll alternate Start we'll, backwards yeah we'll go like r r5 i'll open up my mine so yeah we'll go we'll go 5 to 1 how's that sounds good to me all right, so why don't you? Uh, I'll let you go. I'll let you go first, and uh, and we'll see what uh, what five what five is. So, so this will be okay. it's gonna be interesting. So, okay. So I still don't know. I, I have everything written down here, but so this is number three. Number three is smoke wagon. Oh, okay. I was right. I was right on that one. Okay. Yeah, buddy. All right, so let's see yeah. what I have here. Um, all right, so my number five is the Distill America glass. Holy Christ. So five for me ended up being the old Carter bourbon. So this was where I went between four and five between the smoke wagon, I'm thinking, and the 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 bourbon. So huh, that's interesting. So I had five as the old Carter uh bourbon. Huh. All right. Mm. That's kind of, kind of interesting. Now your smoke wagon and my smoke wagon are two different ones too. So yeah, mine is, uh, I, mean, I think I was mine was the very one. first release. So I jumped on it. Oh, I mean, okay. it, the very first, the only Benny's that got it, I just happened to be there when I got it. And I'm like, what's smoke wagon doing in Illinois? And I grabbed them. And then the guy behind me, he knew about smoke. He had a whole cart full of smoke. Wagon. There was no limit. Yeah. There was no limit. So people were, it was insane. It was like, <laughs> by, by this stuff up. I mean, it's a, it's a great, it's a great bourbon. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it's really a great, it's yeah. really a great bourbon. So and the good yeah. thing, there's a lot more that's going to be hitting the shelves. So uh, I, I follow Aaron on everything and uh, I know that he got the new, bo new bottles in. So they're going to start coming out with more, he, he just bottled a whole bunch of new picks for whatever stores. I'm hoping Benny's gets some. I know one of my local liquor stores is getting some. Me and Jeff are both huge smoke wagon fans. We have a whole bunch of store picks and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's always some really looking forward stuff. to it. Yeah, it's some it's some really good stuff. Yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. Fifty year whiskey for uh for the fiftieth. <laughs> so I know that, it's not, that, I know it's not, I know it's not a fifty year whiskey, but just their fiftieth anniversary. So fiftieth anniversary to celebrate your fiftieth anniversary. Yep. And I think that uh, makes I think perfect sense. I think we've nailed it. Yeah, I didn't even think about that for crying out loud. So, well, good thing you didn't open it yet. Just like, just like they said in uh, what was the movie? Um, 
Back to the Future. It must have been des- density. Must have been density that it was going to happen. So, <laughs> all right. So, all right. All right number four. Go ahead with number, number four. four. That's number two. Oh, Jesus. So, number two is. Oh, we'll okay. Start at batch one. All right. So that's your number four. Number four. I mean, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Number four. Okay. All right. Number number four. Four. All right. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. All right. So my number four is in the it says Virginia Distillery Company glass. Are you kidding me? This says Old Carter Batch Three. Oh, <laughs> odd. Man, I hope I didn't screw this up somehow. All right, that's crazy. Smoke Wagon is creeping up into the top three already then. Oh, wow. Man. I can't believe you picked Smoke Wagon over the... I need I mean, to try I, your Smoke Wagon. So far, <laughs> I've picked it, so far, I've picked it over the American Whiskey Batch 3. And I don't know how that's possible. I guarantee you my number one Batch 3. I don't... I, I don't it's either know. three or two. One of these, it's probably two and three or three and two. Now, again, I've not had, hey, did I have it? Oh, man, I remember tasting the batch three the other day, and it was, like, fantastic. It, yeah, it's it's insane. Man, that's crazy that I've got the smoke wagon that's creeping in here like that. I mean, whatever it is, I mean, it's the top three for me were just bold. They were just very, all three of them were bold. So, all right. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> All right, are you, to, are you on to number three now? All right, number going down five, yeah. four, three, which is my number one. Number one is batch three, two. Okay, batch so we, three. We, oh we, no, we were we were we were one apart there. So I had it as four, and you had it as three. So. <laughs> There was a little yeah. ethanol on there that I that just separate. I mean, these three, I thought were so close. That was that was the thing for me that kind of separated that was just that it was just a little bit, a little bit of alcohol and stuff to it. What else did I have for that? Nah, I don't. Jeff's have kicking himself. He's like, I own Batch Three. It's the best thing out there. I mean, bat, Batch Three. I mean, it is it is fantastic, but it it is. Yeah. I'm just I'm just holy surprised. cow. I'm surprised smoke wagon still in here. So okay, so I have you've already done your three. Now I'm on three, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so my number three is the my bourbon journey glass. And this is the old Carter batch two. So this was again where I thought this was a, a gonna, gonna be the um if smoke wagon wins this thing, I'm gonna be like, what in the hell? <laughs> This is great. It's, it's in my top two, so it's really down to. Uh, so and I don't me, have the same bottle you have in. Oh, that's my, true. That's true. That's true. Okay, yeah. so yeah, my, my, my number three was. Let me just double make sure. Yeah, it was the now, old other American batch two. If I took our club pick, the the Adventures Club Bourbon Society's pick, that might that would definitely be up there in the top, for sure. Yeah. I'm 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 like I'm I'm amazed right now that Smoke Wagon is in the top two because of how complex. I was very convinced that this was going to be one of the American whiskeys. This wow. one, this is pretty. This one is pretty darn bold. I'll tell you. Huh. Man, oh man, I'm I'm like mad at myself that the, it's not going the way I thought it was. Yeah, these two are throwing it, me it, like this one just had a little bit more ethanol on it. I mean, these are, are all are, really good. Are you down to Are you down to two more American whiskeys now? Uh, no, I got one Old Carter Bourbon and oh, one yeah. Old Carter Batch Two. Okay, okay. Man, and I had okay, so I had the Old Carter Batch Two as my as my three. So so okay. far we've been off a little bit by one. Mm-hmm. So not not number except five. For smoke number, wagon. <laughs> except for yeah, except for smoke wagon. So yeah, you had five as as yours. So and again, that's the one. Well, no, our old Carter bourbons are different too. That, that's true. I had the um, I had the old Carter bourbon batch four. So did I already have? 
did I already do the bourbon one? Yeah, I already did that. So yeah, that was the that was the the batch four. And I I remember when I did the the interview with them and I was comparing like four and five, like it was night and day. Four was like far behind five. Like I just bought, I just bought the um, batch five bourbon the other day. It was absolutely fantastic. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it was really, really good. So I, I don't know why she, well, she doesn't know why she picked it. So, um, all right. So are you on to number? Yeah. You must be up to number two then. Numero dos. All right. Oh. Uh, and number four is oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Me. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, batch two. Okay. Batch two. Okay. It's pretty Holy much narrows cow, it down dude. after that. Holy wow, cow. That, all right. So cl clearly, clearly you're a uh, clearly you're a bourbon fan then. They're so these three were so similar, and I would have bet money on it that this one here was going to be one or two, batch one or two, or sorry, yeah. two or three. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm I'm amazed that it's kind of going the way it is right now too. So, all right, this is going to be really this is going to be really interesting. So, my number two is going to be the Bardstown Bourbon Company Glass, and that one is oh, thank God. It's the smoke wagon. So two for me was the smoke wagon. And here's the batch that this is. I mean, this bad boy was really, really good. I don't know if anybody can see if that's picking it up or not, but it said 57 57.35%. 57 Man, it is really, it is really good. I gotta try it again because <clears throat> I'm surprised that. I'm just, I'm just, really, I thought I thought five was going to be the smoke wagon. Like it wasn't going to be able to compete with with these. But man, yeah, I I'd love to try that smoke wagon compared to this one for the uncut, unfiltered. Uh, I'm actually surprised. But now that I'm smelling it, here's another thing. I thought that this was higher proof than these two. So whether that says anything, these are both uh, hundred and. 39.2, yeah, 139, 138.1, and this one sits at uh 119.5. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's and, crazy. That, and that's what that's what threw them off was the ethanol. It's a little ethanol. I should have known better. Yeah, that's that's what I got with like like five and four. It was just a little bit of of alcohol. We'll, we'll and we'll go back through and, and recap. We'll we'll recap everything just so we kind of do that so all right so your number one was go ahead and reveal number one then number number one is uh the kentucky bourbon old carter batch or sorry barrel number 23 uh and it came in at 59.75 percent at 119.5 proof okay mm. all right so that's one okay so i don't have that one so that's the one that you got of the bourbon that that one out then yeah all right all right. Well, clearly that's there's there's one to seek out if if it's even this available. Is, uh, this one I was getting like uh, creme brulee, like yeah. caramely sweet notes. Hmm. All right, and for me, I had the uh, in the charred cask bottle or uh, glass. Yeah, this for me was the um, was the old Carter American batch one. Yeah, so batch one was the winner. Was the winner for me? Where did one, one? I believe this was number one. Batch one was my uh, second from last. So, so, so this one that I won mine was fourth for you. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Man, it was just something. I don't know. That's the, that's one of the crazy things with, with tasting and drinking, uh, you know, whiskey and stuff. So man, that's crazy. And I've had that bottle open for, for quite some time now, but man, I just got this big, bold richness that was there to this thing. But in this one, it, uh, 
it uh, like drinking it like it's good. It's really good up front, but it disappears in the back. Yeah. As opposed to like these ones that they, they linger in your mouth and it's like it's just different every couple seconds. It's just changing and these last three actually. And this one, this one's blowing me. And this is the one that was a different color. Remind you, this one was right here. Yeah. And I said this one looked lighter. Well, go coincidentally, it is the lightest of all of them. So or yeah, at guess, least the lowest proof. And I guess that's the thing. So, like we have different batches of the smoke wagon. So there could be in terms of what the blend is for those, you know, mm -hmm. we don't know what the variance is there. So that's where that could alter that slightly. You know, and yeah. obviously we've got different batches. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna change a little bit. So, but yeah, that's um yeah, that's crazy for me. So, all right. So I'm going to go back through just so everybody, just so everybody knows. So again, my number five was the Distill America glass, which is the, um, hang on a second here. Did I get that right? <laughs> yeah, Distill America was, wait a second here. I'm going to drink. Oh yeah, this is uh all right. So this is kind of all right. This is kind of interesting. So <laughs> the only one. So the Distill America glass she wrote down on here. Oh no, this is the Old Carter Bourbon. Yeah, okay. So five for me was the Old Carter Bourbon. Four, man, and I, and I haven't had one of the bourbons in in quite some time. But man, it was. I remember it being like really good. But tonight. It wasn't the greatest. Uh, four for me in the Virginia glass was the Old Carter Batch 3. Again, another one that I had during the tasting and I thought was absolutely fantastic. And I'll, I'm going to have to go back through independently and try these. And and I'm I'm pretty sure things will be. It just, we know how these tastings and things go. It just. Oh, do I? It's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy what these will I do. Love it. They'll be so humbling at times, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and then, to reiterate, none of these are bad. We're no, we're, we're no. picking nose hairs at this point. We we are like all of these on their own. I mean, we've we own these things, we buy them, I mean we enjoy them for the right reason. And so at the end of the day, none of these are are bad whiskeys at all. So all right, so three for me was the My Bourbon Journey glass, which was the old Carter batch two, the old Carter American uh whiskey batch two, which I remember being um very good too that's the one you sent me right that's and that thing is 139.2 proof it did not drink that i mean it didn't drink nearly that yeah. hot so all right and number two for me was the bardstown glass that's the damn smoke wagon so i'm just it's, like it's right i'm amazed at that and it's a it's a really good bourbon i mean i just remember tasting it on its own and and I'm glad I got a backup bottle of that same one. Now I'm happy that I've got one. So, so and then good. yeah, and then number one for me ended up being the what is this the Chard Oak? Um, that's the old old Carter American Batch One. Son of a bitch, man! The Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Didn't I get you those? Um. I think I did. You got me the uh, small batch ones, I think. No, I I wouldn't give you and small no, batch. No. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe, oh, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so I did. I got a – I think I got a – did I, get I a didn't grab one of those for myself because I maybe, already had one. Maybe I got maybe I got a smoke wagon. Oh, that's what it was because I got several of them, and a couple of them went to um, one of the guys, uh, the bourbon buddies, went to Neil. He wanted some. So – I sent him a couple of those and I think I got one of them out of the deal. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe you sent me that I ordered one, but the other batch, Oh, that's what it was. I had ordered that same batch from like chips or something. And you just happened to get the same exact batch. That's what happened. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. That's what it was. Yep. So uh, kicking yep. myself. Yep. So it's a, it's a, uh, it's a good one for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy I ended up with, with those. So, but, so there you have it. We, uh, we had a, uh, a hell of a time tonight. So these are always, these are always fun and, and humbling. And if, if 
somebody, whether you're watching tonight or the replay after, if you've never done a, a blind, line them up, mix them up, mix the glasses around, and uh, and go to town. So I don't have much to even mix together anymore. I don't have much. That's why I'm doing it. And because I want to empty a glass, because I want to take my smoke wagon pick and compare it to just regular old smoke wagon and cut unfiltered All right, well. and see how that tastes and compares to this – well, Fantastic blend of whiskeys. No, I'll mix. I'll mix what I've got left, and we'll see what uh, what that does. So I don't have I don't have a lot left in mine, but we'll see what uh, what that does. Sometimes these uh, these like Frankenstein blends don't end up being the greatest of things. So this one's uh, off premise. Mm hmm. That's the one that I gave you the sample. Yeah, that was really good. That one was really good. This one, this is, you know, we talked about things opening up. This is one of them. When it opened up, it turned into a whole different animal. Well, that's one of those things where it just, it, it will do that. Like all of a sudden it just completely changes. And, you know, that, that richness comes out in these things. It's, it's unbelievable. What do we have here? color difference too oh yeah look at that i mean that's, oh my god what, what was the age on that what's the pick you have what were the ages on that that barrel it's a 12 year uh 12 year pick okay <clears throat> and it is on uh floor three that's his uh that's usually where all of his 12 years are sitting at 56.4 wow i remember i remember when i did the did the review of just how like big and bold it was. It was an absolutely fantastic uh, bourbon. So why don't we ask like everybody that's in chat, like what are they drinking? Are they trying to compare? Do they have some old Carters? Yeah. 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 What are, what are some of you, if you got a, a favorite smoke wagon, favorite old Carter, you know, what, uh, what is it that you guys, you guys enjoy? I know, I know Jason's got the one that won it for me tonight, the the batch one of the American whiskey. I know he's oh, got nice. one that's still sealed, I think. I don't know if he cracked it open or not yet, but um, I don't know. I mean, you can't go, as far as I'm concerned, you really can't go wrong with the American whiskeys. I mean, them by themselves, they're just always, they're always fantastic. And that's one thing with blinds is that, you know, doing all these things and you're, you know, you're challenging your palate and you're one on top of another. So there's things that will alter stuff. So it's just the fun part. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing that's scientific about anything we're doing right now. It's all subjective and it's just fun to do, you know? Yeah. Agree. And so, <laughs> I could do it almost every day. Yeah. All right. Richie's drinking some of the uh, Bardstown bourbon company, the uh, discovery series one. So yeah, they buddy. did a really good job with that. And I know the series two that they that they released not long ago was was a little bit more aged. I think as their juice kind of started um, aging, they they bottled that, and that's a yeah. really a really good one too. That is, yeah. I got the I got the Discovery Series batch one too. Also, yeah, that was it was a really. I mean, I just remember I just remember them being like just this like fantastic. Um, just again, just rich and bold, and you know, Bardstown's doing a good job with with older whiskeys as well, and that's what what kind of shines through for them. So, yeah. um, what's Eric? Eric said he's going to be doing some Elijah Craig barrel proof batch uh, blind. That's oh awesome. man, that's a. I mean, that would be a hell of a. That'd be a I've hell done of it a so blind. Many times. Oh. <clears throat> and the uh, the C nine one nine right now is my uh, top dog. Is it without uh, getting into the older stuff? But yeah, all the the newer bottles. Yeah, and yeah. You, I I do have a B five one seven, which is the one that won the whiskey world of whiskey or whatever. I haven't yeah. opened that one yet, so I I can't compare it. Yeah, I've I've got I've got one of those open and still one kind of sitting there, um, and I don't know why I don't know why I don't buy the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I mean, it's such a I mean, it's maybe bang for buck the best whiskey that's out there. I mean, they are incredible. <laughs> incredible bourbons the top three is the elijah craig barrel proof picks for what the price they are uh mm -hmm. russell's reserve picks for what they are and their prices and uh 
uh, Jason's favorite Knob Creek picks. Yeah, uh, for I, forty-five bucks, it can't for, be. For, for me, for me, it's it's still the best value in in bourbon. Now, with that being said, it may be not as great a value. I think you're starting to see Knob Creek come out with not only the twelve year, now the fifteen. So, are you going to start to see less of these, you know, single barrel Knob Creek picks, which were were incredible values you were getting 13 14 15 year old bourbons for 45 bucks you can't beat that you know yeah so yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an uh a really interesting um thing to kind of watch with uh with knob creek in terms of what they're doing so i know yeah. i mean some of these guys they, they saturate the market with so many different things and like buffalo trace it's constantly something it's just always you know, something new and, you know, something new that you'll never get your hands on. It seems like half the time with them. So the, the, that's the, that's the pleasure about being in a club with, you know, so many people and somebody's going to acquire it because we're pretty much the bourbon market here in Illinois. And yeah. then we'll have the opportunity to try it. Yeah. You know, just the opportunity to try it. I mean, we have plenty of bourbon bars and stuff around us that have all these amazing things and, Okay, you spend a couple extra bucks, but you you know when are you not when you're out at a bar, you're always spending a little too much money. Exactly. So might as well buy something good and yep. try it and say that you've tried it. And if it blows your socks off, like King of Kentucky did for me, oh. and then you see yourself buying some crazy things, then that's why. Then then you have a reason to do it. But yeah. don't do it and not know what it tastes like. That's yeah. asinine. Yeah. No, I I would I would agree. So. Um, all right, what's Eric got here? So the uh, A121 blind flight, although I do not have the new B520 second place, was the C919. I, I can, I've not I can seen the B520, it. and when I did my flight, A120 just got opened up. So it was a fresh neck pour. So once yeah. that opens up being such a high proof, I guarantee you it's a whole different animal yeah. on my shelf today. That's another. That's just another one of those whiskeys that you just need to give it some time. Don't judge anything off that that neck pour so and, and mike so this was another one for me so he got the the new not 12 year another another great another great bourbon for me that was another one that needed a little bit of time to open up it was a little oak forward when i first tried it and i was a little concerned but um as it as it opened up it really got the, that boldness the rich the dark fruits the sweetness really kind of started to to come out so if if it's a newer bottle mike and you and you are kind of getting a lot of oak on it right away. Just give it a little bit of time. I think that'll, that'll really, you know, kind of open up well for you. So, all right. Well, thanks everybody for uh, joining tonight, Dan. Thanks yes. for uh, doing this along. I appreciate it. So thank um, you. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for sending the, uh, a couple samples and stuff. So these will be, these will be more pleasurable to enjoy on their own, not trying to compare them all against each other because oh. We already know how fantastic they already are. So, yeah, they yeah. are. But there you go. I mean, any of these things, whether it's the smoke wagon, any of the old Carter American whiskeys, their bourbon, you, you simply can't go wrong with with any of these things. So, you absolutely know, give, not. Give it a give it a try. Um, yeah. So, thanks everybody for uh, for joining tonight, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you uh, next Tuesday. I've got some things kind of in the works with maybe some. Uh, some uh, distillers and, and things along those lines. So uh, stay tuned. And um, oh, what's Mike saying here? It was 60 bucks. It was 60 bucks for his, uh, for his 12 year. So good price for that. That's about, that's a fair price. So, all right. So guys, thanks for joining and uh, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully uh, see you next, uh, next Tuesday night. Cheers, Cheers guys. We'll see you. Cheers.